Uh, New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is calling for you know who to resign over numerous sexual harassment allegations. And he just responded with a tweet claiming she would come to his office begging for campaign contributions not so long ago and would do anything for them. Whoa. Wow. What is that it, imp implying, may I ask? Do I'm anything sorry. for what, them. What, what do you think? Is it, is it sexual favors? What oh. is he saying? Do you think well, the language is just is a little it? loaded, it's, it, and it's ironic in a sexual harassment conversation to, exactly. to use Talk that. Exactly. I think it's disgusting. I mean, if my 15-year-old tweeted that out about one of his classmates, his phone would be snatched, he'd be in so much trouble yeah. at home, and we've got the United States president <laughs> doing that. I'm like, it's so, it's so beneath the dignity of the office. It's so infantile. I'm like, what? Nothing changes what is the going fact on? that 16 women have accused him of sexual harassment. And these yes. women are talking, they're going to court, and we'll see what happens. But what yeah. he also recognizes, she, she called, she was one of the first ones to call for Al Franken's resignation. Uh, sexual harassment is a big issue for her. Yes. And so I think she's kind of like, in order to have efficacy, we have to do it for everyone. And that, yeah. that's a... Fair well, point. she's calling yeah. for Trump to resign. They're also calling for a congressional investigation, I think. And, and I wonder, will that happen, the congressional well, I investigation? So. I, I hope congressional uh, investigations <laughs> happen. If Roy Moore gets in, I hope the Congress investigates him, too, because ethics is important. Yeah. I, 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 think that's, I think it's important, and I think it's important across the board for yeah. everybody. Kristen, I, you know. Kristen Gillibrand is a face in the Democratic Party, and you can't deny that and yeah. we were talking about right. off camera we were, that is, yeah. she, is she going to be someone that could possibly lead a ticket in 2020 and i think i keep thinking of your sweater Sorry. that you wore that the future is female one way or the other on both sides i think people are really frustrated with women not being in power in the way that men are and there's this cultural moment right now and mm -hmm. if she's smart she should take this tweet fundraise off of it use it yeah, in order to right. showcase and i hope that Again, President Trump and his tweets yesterday, I got home and I turned on the news and it was all Trump's tweets and the fight between Sarah Huckabee Sanders and the press. And I was like, there was a terror attack exactly. in New York yeah. today. Yeah. 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 Why are we talking about this? It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, you know, but it's, it's a lot of, you know, it's the smoke and mirrors thing. Look over here, you won't see what's happening over there. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's really, it's hard and it's hard to justify to people that we are letting folks go left and right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And and not him. And <laughs> at the top sitting there is this <laughs> Watch it. careful what we abomination. Careful abomination. Person <laughs> <laughs> who has allegations that we are kicking everybody else's ass about. Yeah. Yeah. We have to do it. We have to do it to everybody, or we do it to nobody. According to yeah. what I understand, the House of Representatives has to impeach him. The Republican Party has to impeach well, first, him. And that's first, the let's, ball is in your court. First, let, get, you, first, let's get the let's get the ethics committee on it first. Let's start yeah. with that, yeah. and and then we'll go wherever it needs to go.